Does Lockheed Martin or does anybody possess working anti-gravity technology right now? Or are we still trying to understand how these ET craft are working? Have we reverse engineered the technology at Roswell uh, successfully? Which would mean I've some of the UFOs we're seeing now that are silent and hovering. I've given you the Lazor tapes. Mm -hmm. And that's as far as I can talk. Okay. That's good. It's only because I got the Lazar tapes from a white world mm. form. Right. And, uh, but you can't say but, anymore. But, well, people kept encroaching on Area 51, such mm. that Area 51 has now moved, be moved to Tooele, Utah. And here is one of the old time developments. Oh. Now, I happen to know the guy who put that together. Mm -hmm. How, how far does this date back? March? No, Mach 1.2? I know, it doesn't say, but in actuality, it's way, way back. The first thing, really? we must, must be at least 30 to 40 years. 60s? After the Roswell crash, in the first week of July of 1947, it is alleged that the alien bodies in the craft are taken to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. That's where the alien bodies in the craft were taken. What Boyd Bushman is holding up is a document that states that a reverse engineered nuclear powered flying saucer that has a ceiling of 60, over 60,000 feet, a range of 3,000 miles, nuclear powered anti-gravity saucer that we reverse engineered from the alien craft and he knows who did it. He's testifying. Boyd Bushman is the man who designed the Stinger missile for General Dynamics. He worked for Howard Hughes. He worked for tw 20 years. He was at Lockheed Martin. He had access to above top secret and top secret files. He knows how to uh, develop and reverse engineer anti-gravity technology and is actually demonstrating it in front of us. And here we are for the first time in history. He is showing us proof that at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base we reverse engineered flying saucer technology in 1959 was the first date this thing flew. I mean, this is incredible. He's giving us what no one has ever been able to find before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he won't say, you know, that it was an alien craft, obviously. I mean, it could have been something.